Now, the word advancement, that one is simple. It says, an act of moving forward. An act of moving forward. Can you say, I am going to move forward? Now, when you, when you add supernatural to moving forward, <laughs> uh -huh. when God gets involved in your situation, when God, who alone is God, the one who has done it before, when he gets involved, as he's going to do this year, your moving forward is going to be quick. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be fast. It's going to be miraculous. It's going to be unexplainable. Abnormal moving forward. The co-workers will be wondering, when did she get here? You know, there, there are some promotions that come by the way of my certificate. There's some, some promotions that come by the way of I know the boss. There's some promotions that come by the way of uh, uh, they see me as a nice guy. But there are some promotions that will just come your way and nobody can tell as to why. Even your boss cannot tell why they did it. Yeah. And that's your portion this year in the name of Jesus. Supernatural. Supernatural. Supernatural moving forward. Moving forward. Moving forward, moving forward in your finances, moving forward, moving forward in your health, moving forward, no longer needing to deposit money for sickness because your health has moved forward. This is who God is. Please trust Him. You know, I believe the Spirit of God is in this place, surely. Earlier, when we were led to praise the Lord, the book of Hebrews chapter 4, num number 12, was read to us as our anchor scripture for the year. Is that right? Yeah? Saying what? What does it say? It's powerful and sharper than two-edged sword. And my wife, I don't know, I don't know. Where she brought it up from, I said, when we were in the aircraft, she just, she just said, uh, uh, you know, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, praise the Lord, God is God. Okay? I said, okay. So to get here and have it be the same scripture that the church of God is reading, then I believe that God is up to something. Yes. And she explained to me, she said, you know, this, this, the word of God is, in, at least in this context, is saying that I am sharp enough. I can pierce through anything. That as far as a human being is concerned, I can, I can pierce through anything. It says, look, first it says, uh, I am able to pierce through the what? Soul and spirit. That which is not touchable. That which no one can see. That which only God has control of. The word of God, as you and I are hearing this weekend, going to touch the area of our soul to give us advancement. Our spirit to give us advancement. How do you divide between soul and spirit? Between invisible and invisible. How do you divide between the untouchable and the untouchable? Only the word of God can do it. And he's going to perfect that in our lives this weekend in the name of Jesus Christ. Not only the soul and the spirit can the word of God pierce through. The Bible says also, Try to imagine that for a moment. If there is any joint aching here, the word of God is 
piercing through the ache now. I'm bringing healing to the joints in the name of Jesus. She told me, she said, the marrow, that's really where life is. That's where blood is being manufactured. If someone is uh, suffering from cancer or some uh, blood disease, they can, if they, if, they, if they are blessed enough to flush their marrow out. Something good can begin to happen in the body of that person. The word of God has the ability to flush out the marrow where the blood is being manufactured. If there is any flushing that is necessary in the house tonight, uh, the supernatural power of God uh, is making it to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God has that power. So when it's done with spirit and soul, it goes to joints and marrow. And there is another, there's a third. uh, It discerns what? The word of God can already fish out what I am thinking. The word of God can already uh, see what you are, can already hear what you are nursing. And has the power to change it. Has the power to recondition it to the likeness of God that it may be well with you. Anyone here tonight who is thinking that you cannot make it, the word of the Lord is saying that you are going to make it because you're a child of dominion. You are going to make it because you're a child of dominion. You are going to make it because you're a child of dominion. Hey! One songwriter says, I will make it. No matter what situation, God cares for me. He will never let me down. Come what may, I shall overcome. We have to believe the word of the Lord. That supernaturally some things are going to be shifting. And shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting in the year 2019 things are going to begin to shift because God wants to advance you advancement in a manner that uh, your colleagues cannot say they're the ones who gave you the idea because they're not if your colleagues gave you the idea and you followed through then they can want to they, they want to get a, a tap on the shoulder But this time around, it's going to be God who is going to get all the glory. It is God who is going to get all the glory. It is God who is going to get all the glory. Please be expectant. Yeah. We're not here to psych up ourselves. We're here to proclaim that we believe in the God of all possibilities. The God who does what no one, the Lord who will not share his glory with anyone. If we believe, Christ tells us, we will see the glory of God. I am reminded of... uh, one young boy, it's a, it's a, uh, there, there's a, a TV documentary that I watched uh, recently uh, from Nigeria. I'm not sure if it's a CBC uh, news station, but it's one of those uh, uh, television stations uh, uh, in Nigeria. And that there is a documentary concerning a, a, a young boy who, because the president of France recently visited Nigeria. And there, there's a young boy, uh, I'm not sure what age uh, is the Oh, you saw it. Very good. He, he just made a, a, a drawing of that president, right? And it caught the attention of the governor of Lagos State. And so the governor of Lagos State actually invited him to that art exhibit with his drawing. And that president saw the drawing, right? And uh, they were just uh, so excited that this young boy, oh, 
so talented and all that. And so the governor invited the, the young man and his family to his uh, to the governor's uh, uh, place. All right, and thereafter he gave them an apartment to live. What's spectacular? I'm talking about supernatural advancement. I'm talking about what you don't have control over, but God just brings into your life. Now, they, everyone in I think uh, three children, mom and dad, everyone, five people living in one room. That's all they have. It got so bad that Dad couldn't even stay in that room. He stayed outside. And if this had lasted so long to the point that it was get, the marriage was becoming hopeless because they don't think that they're going to be able to stay together. So poverty set in. And they were living in poverty. But the Lord God of the supernatural brought out something in the life of this young man just because he drew a sketch of, uh, uh, of, of somebody and, 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 and the governor took cognizance of that and said, hmm, this is a talented person. And for that reason, he said, I'm moving you, your family, from this place where you're living to a flat of your own. Of I do not know how many bedrooms, but definitely not one like they used to have. And now, daddy came back home. Now mommy is at home. Now everybody living together. God will surprise you this year. God will visit you this year. God will do something wonderful in your life this year. God will promote you this year. God will provide for you this year. In manners that you have not prepared for. That young man didn't prepare for that. He never knew God was going to use him to be the one who will bring blessing to his household. To be the one that will bring his mommy and daddy back together. To be the one that will give them more rooms where they can live comfortably. But God did it without the boy preparing. Without the boy saying, I did it. Yeah. People like that. How can they ever move close to the governor? But God can move you close to those who must do what will bring praise to God. God can do it. Don't worry where you live now. Don't worry what you're going through now. Don't worry because you don't know folks up there now. God is going to bring you up. God is going to accentuate your life. He will make you known in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about, this is, okay, you say, okay, oh, the other one, the Sarah story is in the Bible, it's a long time ago. Okay, the Elijah story is a long time ago, but I now just narrated to you one that is uh, a, one of our own age that we have seen. And thank God, Pastor said, he saw the same documentary. If God is still doing it, the God of yesterday, the same God is today, and he is forever. And so he will do yours. I said he will do yours. Let me just give you just a few examples before we stop of uh, some other people. David. I remember David. Yes. First Samuel chapter number 16. How did he get advanced? Was it not supernatural? From verse 14 through 23. The Bible tells me that this young man, David, was just a shepherd boy in his family. Yeah? He was the one who would go to the field and tend the sheep. And glory be to God, as he was in the, in the bush or where, wherever that was to tend the sheep, he also would uh, play the harp. He would play his stringed instrument. And once in a while, mommy and I would be saying, uh, hey, man, as, as, as David was playing, the sheep would be like, It has to be. It has, I'm sure it has, it has to be. That's how people started to notice this boy got talent. This boy got talent. This boy, got, even if 
see family members leave that he got talent. They weren't ready to, they weren't ready to promote him. The first time he came to the public, the, the, the senior man said, hey, you, go, go. Even though, even though his brother brought him bread, yeah, he was for his own good. He said, go back home. You are a troublesome boy. You have come again. No, see, yeah? no, I know, I know. No, see. That's what family members will say. But he was enjoying playing for animals. He was entertaining animals. He was making animals dance to the tune. And God was watching him. And God was watching him. And God was watching him to a point where when the king Saul was getting mad in the palace, talk about supernatural uh, <laughs> advancement from playing for animals to playing for the king. Don't worry where you're playing right now. Don't worry who's dancing and who's not dancing right now. But God is ready to advance you to a place where your playing will matter, where your work will be known. God is ready to do it and it will perfect it this year. Can you say this year? Can you say this year? Supernatural advancement is my passion. one day David will be playing in the palace. God will make happen anything that he wants to make happen just to get you to the palace. When that boy was drawing he never knew he would draw a president. When he was drawing a president he never knew it would get to an art exhibition. When he got to art exhibition he never knew that the governor will take note of it. When the governor took note of it, the governor could have just said, oh, nice boy. And then he goes home with nothing. But God said, yes, it is your turn. Some of you, you are the stars of your family. You are the one that is going to bring upliftment to your family. You are the one that is going to bring the light of your family to shine. You are the one that is going to bring spiritual empowerment into your family. And God will do it this year. God will do it. God will do it. God will do it. God will do it. God will do it it this year. Supernatural advancement. One last one. It's one young man called Mephibosheth. We read his story in the Bible. He was living in hopeless land. The Bible calls the name of the place Low Deba. Low land, low place. Where no one can look for him. Place where people who don't matter, where they live. Place where people who have already given up, where they live. People who no one wants in the community where they live, people who have been banished, people who are runaways, people who don't matter anymore. That's where the young man was living. Even though he was a grandson of a king, he came from a palace, but because of circumstances of life, he became a runaway. As a matter of fact, he was crippled already. So what else can, what, whatever, whatever good can ever happen to me anymore? I do not know how long you've been in America. I don't know if you have lamented and say, is this all? Is this all that I came to do in America? Is this how my life is going to continue to run? And I'm aging, but I haven't seen anything yet. But the Lord God Almighty has sent me to you this weekend. Just to let you know that he who brought uh, Mephibosheth from Lodiba into the palace to begin to eat with King David. That God is your God. He's going to bring you up from Lodiba. 
He's going to advance you supernaturally. He's going to advance you supernaturally. He's going to advance you supernaturally. And this is your year. So, some may say it is the skill of David playing the harp that got him to the palace. Some may say it is the talent, dreaming talent of Joseph that got him to eventually the palace. But you and I know that it is still all the supernatural move of the Lord God Almighty that made whatever it is that they had to become fruitful and to become noticed. But I want to also show you Mephibosheth, he had no talent he had no dream, he had no skill, he had no hope, he had no body, he had no body, he knew no body, yet God moved him up. You will make it in the name of the Lord, you will make it no matter what situation God gets for you. He will never let you down. Come what may, you shall overcome. This is the word of the Lord for you and for me this year. I'm going to sing one more song and we're going to pray. Our time is up now. That song says, Unquestionable you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. Continue to sing it, miracle is beginning. Continue to sing it, miracle is happening. The God who can bring one from Lord Diva to the palace. You will now begin to speak with all authority that in the name of Jesus, in the name of the unquestionable Jesus, I am stepping into supernatural advancement. This is my year. You will pray for yourself in my finance, supernatural advancement. In my health, supernatural advancement. In this church, supernatural advancement. In my family, supernatural. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Declare that this year is your year of supernatural advancement. Your children will experience advancement supernaturally this year. The Lord your God is the unquestionable God. He is the all-powerful, the omnipotent. The one who knows and who does all things. Speak it with boldness. Declare it with boldness. That this is your year of supernatural advancement. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will limit this church. Nothing will limit this church advancing in the supernatural, advancing in the spiritual, advancing in the financial, advancing in the emotional, advancing by the power of the supernatural.
supernatural God. This is your portion. Unquestionable, you are my God. Unquestionable, you are my God.